A couple of things before I get to work. Uh, I moved this TV from my leather room, the leather shop, into here. And I don't know how moving it from one room to another uh, could make it quit working, but it quit working. And uh, I've shuffled a couple of TVs around in the house. And I just bought a new antenna. That antenna sucks. And I have ordered a small TV for right here. And I put the antenna up over in that window because north is where all the TV antennas are. Anyway, I'm going to start sanding those four knives. And I have four more knives that I'm setting up. Those will be my next batch. This is uh, the four I'm working on now. And this is uh, uh, as Reds. These two are Jim Nichols. This is Everett Mott and Everett. Uh, if I don't get the steel in tomorrow, Saturday, I'll have it Monday. So I'll be able to, I'll have the steel for your knife on Monday. Okay, let me, uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess I won't talk about it right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sanding on these knives. It's going to be a messy, dusty day. And uh, I may open my doors, even though it's still a little chilly out, and suck some of the dust out the doors, because, my God, look how... This is a dusty, dirty business. Alrighty. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, open my doors and turn the fan on, blowing out the door. Let's get started. Okay. This is... Uh, this is what I do. This is as far as I take it on the belt grinder by hand. Now the rest of this is hand sanding. See how I narrow the nose of the handles? And uh, I'm going to put this back on the router and take it. The thickness is, is pretty big. Uh, I, I'm going to knock this down a little bit more just like i did this so i'm gonna do that and uh put it on a belt grinder work my way up so i may not get these all done today i haven't done my walk today i woke up my back was just freaking killing me and now i got a blister in the bottom of my left foot and my left foot is killing me so i gotta buy some good walking shoes and uh I am going to probably go for a walk this afternoon with my wife. I like to do my walk early in the morning. That way I don't scare the neighbors. Big, huge, fat monster walking down their street <laughs> with a pistol in his pocket. Not good. But uh, I'll probably go this afternoon and I won't bring my pistol. So, let me get on this. We'll get, uh, get the rest of these cleaned up like this. There's two. That is some hard, hard wood right there. All right, I'm going to work on the Tuya, the Caddo. Uh, I did narrow this up a little bit. I made this a little narrower than I normally do because this is for a, a woman. And this is a kind of a big handle to start with, so uh, I narrowed it down a bit. Uh, i got to put my uh, Makita drum sander on this, uh, on the uh, outside of the metal here. Then I'm gonna drink a cup of coffee and get on that. That's gonna take some concentration. So let me finish this one up, get me a cup of coffee, take a minute, and then I'm gonna get on that. <clears throat> well, that is the Caddo, that is uh, Errol's Caddo. I like that wood. That's Tuya Burl, T-H-U-Y-A. And this is nothing but sanding and buffing. And I don't think I'm going to... This is not stabilized wood, but it has buffed up so nice. I don't think I'm going to put true oil on this. Uh, I think I'm going to put a couple of coats of wax on it. All right. I'm going to go do, I'm going to put the wax on right now and move this into the leather shop. 
and then uh, I'm gonna get started on oh, Harold's been waiting a while so uh, I mean they're all gonna get done about the same time because you know now when I finish here they all go into the leather shop so uh, I'm gonna do Harold's next just because he has been waiting the the longest I think yeah longer than Nick Nick's second but uh, it really doesn't matter because from here they all go into the leather shop and we're just, uh, you know, a handful of days away from me uh, boxing these all up and shipping them. Golly, I really like that wood and I have one more piece of it too. And it's a, I think it's a big piece. Oh, let me see here. Nope, nope, nope. Yes. Yeah, I got one more piece of that. Very nice work. Okay. Let me, uh... Actually, it's cold in here. It's warm in this room. I'm going to go get that wax and bring it in this room. And uh, let that wax warm up and then put a couple coats of that on and buff it up real nice. And that will be done except for a sheath and then the an edge. And I'll do the edge right here. Okay. You're next. All right, there's number two finished. And that is for Harold. And uh, now, I'm fixing it. I don't think I'm going to have a chance to get to this today, but I will tomorrow. This is Willie's. I'm fixing a uh, go to working on this. Uh, it's just enough day. You know what? I'm going to have a cup of uh, filtered water filtered through coffee grounds. And then I'm going to get to work on this, buff it up, and that will, I'll have three done today. I wasn't working that hard today. I, I drank a lot of coffee, and yes... I watched a little bit of TV, okay? So sue me. <laughs> All right. Cup of coffee, and then back to work on this, and then that's a day for me. All right. There is Willie's. That's stainless pins and desert ironwood. Had some schmutz on it. Still does. It's wax. Okay. That's three down. Three ready for their leather pants. And Nick, you are in the vice. And tomorrow, well, actually, I don't know if I'll get... Here's the thing. Uh... Walking is really, really hurting me, hurting my feet, hurting my back. And I've got a blister on the bottom of my foot. I think I mentioned this already, but oh, the whole day has gone by. It's it's five o'clock in the afternoon. I've been out here since about eight. Anyway, uh, I got to go to Academy and buy me a pair of uh, walking shoes that fit good. You know, I buy my sneakers a little big. And I buy the cheap Walmart sneakers, and my feet slip around in them. I just, I buy the cheap sneakers because, you know, I go through them so much, so quick. I just throw them away when they wear out. Throw them away. I mean, these are like 16 bucks, you know. And uh, I just don't spend a lot of money on shoes because I get welding spatter on them or paint or they get so dirty that my, my wife won't let me in the house with them anymore. So I throw them away and get a new pair. But now I'm going to have to invest in a pair of really good walking shoes because uh, my feet are just killing me. And I am still, I'm 270 pounds, and that's still an awful lot of weight to ask your uh, feet and ankles to carry around. And uh, today is, this is Friday. You'll see this Saturday morning. And uh, tomorrow we're going to town for something, but one of the things we're going to do is Academy Sports. i got to get a pair of good shoes, walking shoes. 
And if there's any day left, I'm going to come out and work on this. And uh, Sunday, I'll start making pants for everybody. Leather pants. Okay, one more shot of the... These come out really nice. Really nice. I talked to Errol. This is his wife's knife. And uh, he's leaving the hospital tomorrow, going home. It took him a little longer to get well than, than they had anticipated. He had back surgery is what he had. This is Harold's. I sent him a picture. And this is Willie's. I'm going to send you a picture, too, just so you know it's done. Willie already paid me. And uh, I turned around, and the money he paid me, I bought wood with it. I'll show you. I got, boy, I got some wood coming. It's going to be beautiful wood. I'm going to have to do a lot of work to cut it up, but uh, it's going to be some nice stuff. Okay, I will uh, see you Sunday. I just wanted to show you that I'm using your money wisely. Uh, Willie Hill went ahead and paid me for his knife, even though I'm not finished yet. Uh, actually, I'm on my way out to the shop now. I'm going to try to get all four handles on the knife today, plus find time to work on Bev's mobility scooter. So uh, it paid me 185 for the knife. And I parlayed that money into some really awesome handle wood that I will have to cut into handle sizes myself on the table saw, which is just fine because uh, I save a lot of money by doing it myself. But that's the kind of wood we got coming to us right there. I can't wait.